Voyagers National Park is the only water-dominated national park in the United States. Established in 1975, the park exists today to preserve its natural environment and share her incredible natural beauty, history, and recreational resources with all who would visit her boundaries. Spanning nearly a quarter million acres of primitive forest, Voyagers National Park is as ancient as time itself. Over 450 miles of shoreline hold within its grasp the oldest rock formations known to man. Fishing up here in Voyagers National Park, it's such a spectacular area, such beautiful scenery, and this rock is millions of years old, but we got kind of a neat story on the wall right up ahead of us, don't we, Jerry? Sure do, Roger. If you'll notice up here on this rock face, we've got a, a black line that goes down, and just beyond that, you'll see there's a little piece of a rock that's fallen out, it looks like a square. That's the eye of a profile of a face. If you look down below that, you'll see the nose and the corner of the mouth. Now, local legend has it that if we salute that face in the rock on our way north, we'll have good fishing. And also, on our way home, if we salute it on our way home, we'll return to these waters again, time and again. Five lakes constitute Voyagers National Park. Crane Lake, Sand Point, Namakin, Cab Togama, and Rainy. To the east, Voyagers National Park is accompanied by the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, and Crane Lake is at the center of this vast Northwoods playground. The BWCAW is a unique area of approximately 1.3 million acres in size. It extends nearly 150 miles along the international boundary adjacent to Canada's Quetical Provincial Park. It contains over 1,200 miles of canoe routes, 15 hiking trails, and over 2,000 designated campsites. This area was set aside in 1926 to preserve its primitive character. It allows visitors to canoe, portage, and camp in the spirit of the French voyageurs of 200 years ago. In just two to three hours time from leaving Crane Lake, you can be up here in the Boundary Waters. We have a two hour boat shuttle that leaves from Crane Lake we have a scenic seven mile river we run, Loon River, two mechanical portages, all in getting up here. Today's trip, three hours time, we're here fishing in a very remote lake in the Boundary Waters here. Winter time in Crane Lake is as equally exciting as in the summer. The fish bite through the ice as if it were the middle of June, roar through the trees in a snowmobile, or glide silently past the sleepy pines on cross country skis or snowshoes. The area's hundreds of miles of exquisitely groomed trails tempt you to find where they end. Boy, was that great. Heading out of Crane Lake on freshly groomed trails and now we're coming down the lake. Look at this cliff, this is just beautiful. Heck, a scenery like this would make me come back more and more and more. What do you like about it up here, Steve? I, everything, groomed trails, the lake trails, the trails that go through the forest and the swamps. You know, you can see things in the wintertime here that you can never see in the summer. You go through the frozen swamps, you can't see that in the summertime, and it's just magnificent. Oh, and you have a chance of seeing deer, wolves, or whatever, you know, across in the lakes. I mean, literally, you got hundreds and hundreds of miles of trails and lake trails up here. It's just never ending. Water is a way of life in Crane Lake. Traveling through the vast park area can be fast and exciting or slow and quiet. Even the remote is accessible. There are no motor restrictions on the five major lakes. Houseboats are popular with over 50 developed overnight sites available. For folks coming up to the Crane Lake area, there's literally dozens of these shore lunch spots set up for you, right? Oh, absolutely. There's, uh, they're all over on both the American and the Canadian side. The American side has a uh, built-in grates and picnic tables and latrines and everything. Over here where we are on this side of the lake and the Canadian side, it's pretty much build your own. For the truly adventurous spirit, fly-in services offer chances to vacation in complete isolation. These seaplanes will whisk you to the furthest reaches of Voyagers National Park, where you are virtually guaranteed to have the lakes, forests, fish and trees all to yourself. Mm -hmm.